Sheffield United have taken the direct route back to the Premier League and Paul Heckingbottom, an outpouring of emotion now, no doubt has had to hold everything back over recent weeks when everyone's been talking about getting back to the top flight. He's had to remain calm and level-headed, but now it can all come out. Credit to the fans as well for staying in their seats. Anel Ahmed Hodzic, still waiting to become a father, by the way. No sign of the baby yet, but what a night for him. Sander Berger getting the scoring started. And look at these scenes. Kevin Gage and Brian Dean. It must bring back some memories for the pair of you, this. Well, I mean, honestly, I, I can't sort of like sit here and imagine what the joy that these guys are going through. There were different circumstances. These guys have performed fantastically well to still have games to play and they've actually achieved promotion in front of the fans. I mean, it's just, it's just joyous. Oh, it's, 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 the, it's the perfect finish to the yeah. season, isn't it? And it looks like we're going to win it at, to get promotion at a canter as well. Yeah. You know, for how many months have we been looking at the table and worrying yeah. about, oh, if, they, if, they, if we win our games in hand, how many points clear are we? And we've been sweating on Luton and then Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough came down here and stumped us 3-1. and we, Well, I was panicking at that stage because Middlesbrough looked so good and Luton just kept coming. But in the end, we've just accelerated away from the, yeah. from the pack. And, top quality performance second half we have yeah. to say you know really really turned it on do you know do you know what was the tipping point for me i mean we talked about it at half time it can go either way isn't it but you think about george baldock and that little incident he had down here and just a reaction i think that really just energized everybody mm. and i think after that you know everybody kind of took <coughs> out from me. what he's done you know and, and i think they all raised their game and, and it's for me, it's a wonderful, wonderful sight. I'm, I'm made up for It's fantastic, guys. isn't yeah. it? Absolutely. Heck, what a job Hecky's done, by the way. Not just fantastic. this season, but to, from where he picked us up, at, you know, like halfway through just, just before Christmas last season. His, his win ratio record must be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I think he's, um, what's been really impressive for me is the way how he's rotated the squad, even when we had injuries. He still find a, he still found a way to play a side in a system that was gonna give us an opportunity to get a result, you know, and, and that's where we've been consistent. We've had injuries, but we've managed to minimise any real issues that we've had. Still pick up points, and that's consistency. And that mm. consistency is why we're sat here with is it three games left? Yeah, three games left. Promotion. Those don't. <laughs> That's the prize. Yeah. You know? At what point as a player does it sink in what you've actually achieved? In the lead mill tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still open the lead mill these days? I've not been for about 15, 20 years. <laughs> Possibly. I, <don't> know. <laughs> I think you get caught up in the in the uh, in the joyous, you know, emotion and the of the, the atmosphere, yeah. and then you go in the changing room and you sit yeah. down, and you have a cup of tea or something maybe a bit stronger. Yeah. And then, yeah, oh, I think I, you oh get I, oh you I. get home <laughs> you get home eventually yeah. in the early hours of the morning. Do, do, you know, do you know what is really sad? I mean, we've got. Oh yeah. There's um, the prince. We, look, we he'll get, be a very proud individual yeah, absolutely. tonight. Absolutely. We, you know, there'll, there'll be some players who kind of will look at themselves and, and their journey, and they'll be thinking, you know, and not, you know, you know that, that what they've done, their contribution, massive contributions, the likes of Ollie Norwood, uh, John Fleck, Chris Basham, Billy Sharp. You know, they, they've been up, they've been down, they're back up again. I mean, what a way to kind of. You know, enter your twi the twilight years of your of your um, career. Absolutely, it, it's special every time, man. You know, I've had, I think, four or five promotions. You've had similar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every single one's very, very special, isn't it? Yeah. Very they're special. All, they're very all different, different, but they're yeah. all special, and it's yeah. a culmination of just a brilliant season, as we say. You, it's, it's no teams that get promoted don't do it because they've been a bit lucky through the season they genuinely deserve it yeah. and we've, we've thoroughly deserved our promotion yeah. this year and I, without I, a shadow of doubt and I, and I think you know it's been a massive effort both on and off the pitch you know um, the, the way how the, the backroom staff have worked together you know there'll be, there'll be other people there'll be you know the groundsmen the, you know, the laundry ladies you know this is what I call the squad. 
you know, it's not just that's the team. You know, that everybody has contributed to this. You know, because you have to enjoy coming into work every day. And, um, you know, you can see that everybody there enjoys coming in and being part of that squad. You know, it's just been a wonderful effort. Well, the game tonight demonstrated the qualities that Sheffield United have shown this season. It's not always been pretty. Um, they've not blown teams away week in, week no. out. But what this team is made of is grit, determination and a desire to win football matches. And to be fair to West Brom, they were very, very good first half. Best team of the first half. But Sheffield United somehow managed to find a way. It came from an error and Illiman and Jai pounced and yeah. set up Sander Berger. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is what we talk about with the little man. Look at that. He's on the guy's shoulder and he's so quick over a few yards. Nice little Cruyff turn. It's unselfish. There you go, Sanderberg. You know, look at Sanderberg, the, the, you know, the energy that he's shown here to get, you know, into that scoring position. It's a, you know, I mean, that, they deserve that for all their efforts over the season. You know, you make your own look for me. Mm. And, and, and with a little bit of of magic from the little man you know you've always got a chance absolutely right yeah with with enjoy in your team with McAtee in your team with him that man in your team yeah that's where you're looking for that little bit of absolute quality yeah. mentioned previously about how much how much Sander Berger gets about the park which yeah. he goes unnoticed yeah you're exactly right there Dino he's, he's had he's seen enjoy gone there he hasn't just stood back and watched enjoy yeah. do his tricks he sprinted mm. 40, 50 yards to get yep. into that position Absolutely. to slide that ball home. Absolutely. And how important was that first goal? They're playing Cause... She's Electric by Oasis behind <laughs> us in the stadium, which, you know, the words <laughs> have been changed by the Blades fans to suit Sander Berger. Uh, so they're giving a tribute to the Norwegian at the moment, the Sheffield United players, just below our TV studio here as they take a lap of the pitch and celebrating with the fans. And absolutely right, why not? Um, that made it 1-0 and that just seemed to calm everything down, didn't it? Yeah. And, and, the, and the second goal when it came, I mean, this fella has shown this knack of scoring goals this yeah. season, centre-half, but such a threat in the opposition penalty area as well. Yeah. What about that for an instinctive it's finish? That's, a, that's somebody who is very, very competent with well, their technique, whether you're a defender or not. Have a well, look at this, it's a left foot, you don't ocean have, pass. You don't have time to think, do you? No, just it's just in, just that's instinct. instinctive, yeah, just stuck his foot out. Left but foot what it sums up his brilliant. season, what a season he's been. Yeah. I mean, Chris Basham got a little cameo role at the end there. We, we never thought we could replace Chris Basham because no. he's one yeah. of a kind. Yeah. You know, the, the overlapping Basham Bauer centre well, half. Well, well, How do you replace Basham? Not only have we replaced Basham, we've got mm. somebody better than Basham. Yeah. Well, you, you were, you, I remember you know you'd seen him in pre-season and you were waxing lyrical he was like waxing lyrical about this guy and i'm like okay let me have a look at him and from the first time i saw him he was i think he got man of the match in that game he was absolutely fantastic and you know he's, he's a big lad he's a full international at the moment um you know he, he's a hell of a player you know there's been some real star performers in this um, blades team this season you know you think about some of the people who are, you know, I've been a little bit harsh with, but they've all played a role, you mm. know. They've all played a role because that's what you need over a season. And I guarantee you now, every single player who's contributed will have evolved and grown from this experience of winning this. The two lads who've gone back to uh, Man City, what an experience they've had. You know, getting promotion, you know, straight out of the youth team. Oh, it's fantastic you know? for their careers as well. Fantastic. Absolutely. But McAtee will go back to Man City in the summer. I mean, he'll be expecting to get in around the first team, won't he, McAtee? Yeah. I mean, hopefully he doesn't and then come back to us. <laughs> I hope what it does mean now is that, you know, Sheffield United can protect some of the jewels in the crown and we're just looking at Lemon <laughs> and Jai doing a victory jig he's towards doing, the car. He's doing a one man Just show. behind us here. Yeah. I mean... I'm, I'm, get, I'm not, never going to tire of saying it. He, this, this kid is one of the best players I've seen in a yeah. Blade shirt in, in many a year. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, yeah. Gibbs White was excellent last year. This fella's been better for me 100%. this year. This 100%. season, yeah, for me, he, he was up there with Gibbs White last season. But this season, he's been head and shoulders. Yeah. He's been that, the stardust, you know. And, and what, really, what I really like about it is he seems to be a likeable fella in the mm. changing rooms. You know, no airs and graces about him. You know, I talked a little bit about these players who you get, you know, the Brazilians, they come from the favelas, the same 
um, in, in Argentina and those South of He just seems to have a little bit about, him, you know, streeting him and he brings it onto the pitch. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's close control, fantastic play, you know. They, they oh. don't come along very often. You know, you get these, you know, you get these pearls every now and again that appear for little money or no money. They develop as the, you know, during the season. And, and we've got another one here, you know. He, he's, he's, you know, yeah, I, I'm a big fan of his. You know? <laughs> we've been saying for a while, he's, he's, he's premiership quality, yeah. isn't he? I mean, yeah. oh, the, ho the hope is he's going to be premiership quality and now it's going to be with us. Yeah. yeah. You know, so yeah. if, if we hadn't got promotion this year, yeah. I think he'd have been Stop. definitely off yeah. in the summer because he's, 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 you know, he's top eight, mm. top six, top eight premiership quality. Yeah. Now he's got there with us. Let's just hope we can sort something out and we can we can we can have him in a Sheffield United shirt in the Premiership next season. Yeah. Let, let's hope we can build the right team around him, you know, to be able to see him see what he can do in a Blade shirt. You know, we know that's not going to be easy, you know, mm. because any team that goes up is going to find it hard. But you know, let's have a plan. You know what I mean? Let's. Let's be open, let's be transparent with everything that we want to do, you know, engage with everybody. And, and I think if you're a fan, that's all you want sometimes. You just want that kind of connection with the club. You want a little bit of, you know, let us know what's going on. Let us give us the opportunity to get behind you. And, and, and I think, you know, this is a, this club, right? I mean, since I've been involved with it, it's like, you know, the ups and downs are ridiculous. It's like a soap opera. <laughs> you know I mean? We could do a whole show <laughs> on what's happened, what happens off the pitch, yeah, you know, couldn't yeah, we? Yeah. I mean, the good thing is the Prince is here tonight, isn't yeah. he, to witness it. He was you at Wembley, it, yeah. fair play. He's here tonight. Yeah. Brilliant. Get yeah. involved in this, you know. Yeah. We don't know what's been going on with the uh, off the pitch. We, the, the embark we were under transfer embargo two weeks ago, and we've still put all that to one side, ignored all that, and, in, and concentrated what what's been going on on the pitch. And that's to Hecky and and Jack and Stuart McCall and all the others behind the scenes. You know, yeah. the goalkeeper, coach, every analyst, everybody. They put it all to bed. They said, ignore all that. Concentrate Absolutely. on what happens on the pitch. And, and this this is the culmination of it all. Yeah. We could talk forever. The fans are going nowhere at the moment. Um, we're all going to go and grab a beer, I think. I think well, we should try and grab a beer to celebrate. I might be I'm only joking. Well, you, you can send me a picture on, on text <laughs> with a beer in your hand. Yeah. Uh, celebrations will go on long into the night here yeah. at Bramall Lane. You can relax. They've done it. Sheffield United are back in the Premier League after a 2-0 win over West Bromwich Albion. So Manchester United, Manchester City, Liverpool... Chelsea and all that lot to look forward to next season but for now bask in the glory of Sheffield United sealing promotion here at Bramall Lane. Stay tuned across all of our channels for all of the best reaction from here at Bramall Lane on what has been a special night, a promotion winning night for the Blades from us all here. We'll see you again soon.